really exciting to be bringing out our new performance master range. This is the 935. And after the last America's Cup, really became friends with Jimmy Spittle and he introduced us to an epic design team to really take our mask to the next stage. So Riley is one of the key elements there. And yeah, what were you up to, Riley, there? <laughs> yeah, well, it was a great time, you know, it's sort of as the America's Cup was finishing, I got the chance through Jimmy to meet um, and the guys and assemble a bit of a team to take on the next challenge in wing foiling. We really gained a lot of insight, especially with the, you know, the section design and mathematics behind really getting a forgiving low drag section. So, you know, what, what sort of experience, you know, does the team have? Like you said, we were approached after the cup to sort of build a team of um, designers, engineers, CFD, a um, bit of EPP to understand what we want here. Really that's a key thing, right? So the sectional shape, you know, that's something where, you know, everyone has their own take on the sections, but there are definitely some key people out there who are just the experts in the world and really, you know, that's who we managed to tap into and, and what, you know, did they really bring to the table? John, a lot of the research and development did come from the last America's Cup, so that was three years of technology analysing sections from all sorts of foils. So we really developed and honed in our design on three sections and developed a really robust section that could cover the range. And that's in terms of what we need, like low drag, but also forgiveness through a wide range of angles and a really, you know, wide cavitation bucket. Exactly, and that's a really far, fun part of the project for me is working with the CFD designer and the sectional shapes and back looping it through engineering and calculations to make sure that we are designing the right section for this mass and to give us all the possible scenarios that this mass is going to get put through. So yeah, the section development was really interesting because they looked at the hydrodynamics but also the engineering and the torsional and the stiffness which just means that they had to really look at the, the chord percentage thicknesses of the section and give us something that would work for the loads that we're putting through it. And so that was really next level for us. So Riley, why would we want to use high modulus and intermediate modulus together in the mask? Well, from our studies, we did a ply-by-ply analysis on the foil um, and we're really focusing on the strain in the fibres and it became very clear to us that we needed to integrate HM and IM throughout this foil. It was important that we use IM to distribute the load and the connections, and it was very important throughout the main part of the foil that we really needed to focus on stiffness. Awesome, so we've got the high mod that really gives the whole thing a bunch of stiffness, and then the intermediate modulus that gives that durability. Correct. We redesigned the whole bottom bracket connection, so what were we really doing there? Yeah, we were trying to get a low drag approach in this area and we added a section with a bit of reflex in the back. And that just streamlines the fuselage fitting onto the rest of the tail connection area. And at the top end, this was a pretty big challenge because we've adjusted the master rake as well, um, which is pretty exciting. Yeah, exactly. It was a combination of minimum drag again, but getting the right sectional shape in the top of the mast to transition from our section into the base plate. It was a big challenge and it, we probably spent a lot of time on this, but it was great. Yeah, I got Riley to draw this new M7 screw, really cute. It's basically simpler and lighter and stronger. The intermediate modulus and high modulus together really gives you the best of both worlds. Durability and stiffness and torsional rigidity. Definitely a massive improvement with these masks, you really feel it in the water. All that work and we've come out with three sizes. So. Yeah. Here we go, we've got the 795. So we after we, we drew actually the 935 first, but the 795 came from the surf foil world. The guys want to be able to push their turns a bit harder. And I think the ripping wing kids are just gonna go crazy on the 795. Really light, really fast, beautifully refined. And this thing's, yeah, there's gonna be some cool things done on that. Um, the 935 was kind of the all-rounder, especially for winging or higher wind, you know, downwinding, um, amazing. And then the big boy, the 1035, this thing for us is just all about performance, um, kiting, but also winging, upwind performance, just going to be mind blowing. And in the surf, big waves, towing, this thing's going to do some cool stuff as well. So really excited to have all this work done and have some epic products to bring you guys. So thanks a lot, Riley. Yeah, and, no, um, yeah super stoked. Stoked to see what people do on these.